my name is Dan. I come from Liverpool. I work in construction and I'm 34. I think when I looked at how old I was, I was only, I was 33 at the time. And then I seen the way my hair was now. So I thought it wasn't long before I was going to start receding hair. My hair and I was going to start receding more and going bald at earlier. So I just decided to, to go for it and and get it done while I was earlier rather than leave it too late and then maybe the results wouldn't have been as, as successful. I looked at various different things, so options in England and then obviously I'd heard about stuff in, in Turkey as well. So I'd looked on online, on Instagram and stuff like that. I wanted to see more what other people's experiences had been like and the results as well from, from both and then that's where I came across here of Istanbul. They had the, the best reviews on there. Everyone seems to have a really positive experience and the results were, were really good as well. So that's what, why I decided with them. I think the results of people who had had surgery and obviously further down the line, what it looked like, I was really impressed by what the results were, what they got ahead of Istanbul. So that was the, the main thing. And plus speaking to people from the company, they put you really at ease and Nothing was too much trouble for the many questions I had. They'd come back to me straight away on WhatsApp and, and answer. So it just reassured me that that was the, the right company to choose. Uh, I'd, I was expecting, uh, obviously, to, to grow back to, to look where I wasn't receding and where I wasn't going bald as well. That would be the outcome that, that I'd hoped for. The, the experience that I've had so far has been absolutely excellent. I couldn't, I couldn't fault it from the minute I got here, after the surgery, everything has just been top class and it's been absolutely brilliant. Just on the, the internet really. And then obviously I'd done research from people who, who would, on Instagram and stuff like that, who had been there and, and had surgery done and there was no real negatives that, that I heard about at all through it. And it's been backed up by me getting it done myself. That it's been excellent. Yeah, mainly on Instagram and stuff like that that, that I look at. You see the before pictures and then the after pictures months down the line and that was the, the main thing for, for me because obviously I don't know on anybody personally who's had it done before so you can only go off what you, what you see on there and it seemed to be really, really good, the results. The main thing for, for me before going into it was what was it going to feel like? How bad was it going to hurt? What was it going to feel like afterwards? How much pain were you going to be in? The one thing that I would say to, to people is, unless you've had the actual treatment done yourself, you can't explain to someone what it feels like. People can tell you to work for, for companies and stuff like that, but what I would say is, there's no, virtually no pain in getting it done. When I had the general anaesthetic, that's about the most painful thing that happens of it, and that's a couple of seconds getting a, a needle into, into your head. The whole surgery took about six hours. I had 4,300 grafts, and there was, as I say, virtually zero pain. And even afterwards, after it, I come out of surgery. So I was thinking to myself, it might not be bad because it's numb during surgery, but then afterwards, is it gonna really hurt? And even after I had it done, I was still okay last night. I had a little bit of a headache today. I've been virtually back to normal. My head's a bit swollen, but. I've had virtually no pain. I have a paracetamol and to get rid of a headache and, and that'll do. So my advice to people would be, don't let what the pain side of it be to put you off. If you've had a tattoo, a tattoo is a lot, lot worse pain than getting this done. Believe me, and I've got plenty to, to prove that.